Thanks for staying with us. All right, we're already looking at the papers. Let's go right away, starting off with the nation to see what the top stories are this morning. Of course, Nigeria at 64 appears to dominate uh, the papers. Uh, looking at uh, the nation here, military display at Aso Villa marks low key event, with presidents releasing pigeons, cotton cake with others. And uh, dignitaries such as former President Jonathan Okonjo Iwala, Mark, and governors foresee a greater Nigeria. And those are the picture stories there of activities uh, marking Nigeria at 64 on Tuesday. Security forces find another 66 illegal refineries. Now, that's the Nigeria Open University, National Open University of Nigeria Center, set ablaze over rumor of likely use as IDP Center. Uh, that's in uh, Imo State. Pockets of protests in Lagos, Abuja, and other cities uh, recorded. Decay in public schools, unacceptable. All these and more are on the nation. On Frost News, we are putting measures to reduce food prices. Cost of living, says President Tinubu, as his Independence Day speech uh, was made on Tuesday. But um, you know, as uh, the PDP replies, the call... Uh, it false promises, false claims, empty promises. Nigerians protest soaring living costs uh, on the 64th anniversary. Nigeria at 64, our nation in need of urgent rescue from further decay. PDP is dead. APC de detached from reality, says Kwakwansu. And uh, village chief, 12 others arrested for beheading hunters in a quibum. Israel vows retaliation after Iranian missile attack. That's also on First News. Silent Times. Now, Tinobu means well for Nigeria, but that's uh, from the Committee uh, for the Campaign for Defense of Human Rights. The CDHR body reveals that some people are working against the president's reforms, condemns the 30-day youth confab, saying it will end up as another waste and calls for more action to ease hardship. In Imo State, police issue warning over burning of ex-senators' residents as well as the National Open University's building. Man accuses father, stepmother of witchcraft before burning down house car. In Benue State, panic as suspected cholera outbreak kills 11 in four days, others critically ill. Next is New Telegraph. Tinobu, Shetima, others celebrate independence anniversary in Aso Vila. Hardship on campuses getting unbearable. The Academic Staff Union of Universities warns President Tinobu. Security agencies frustrate hashtag fearless October protest in Abuja. And fuel importation hit six-month high at 35% increase in September. Finally, with me is the Daily Times. Mixed reactions trail Nigeria at 64 Independence Anniversary. Middle Belt minorities demand secession from North. Decry decades of marginalization. Fault British colonialists. On Bobriski, uh, the Correctional Service affirms suspension of seven senior officers. Troops arrest eight terrorism suspects, two kidnappers, informants in Taraba. Nigeria carriers in urgent need of support, uh, say aviation experts. And despite clampdown selling, spraying of Naira notes at parties still persists. Uh, finally, the Nigeria, uh, Nigeria imported 20.30 billion liters of petrol in 2023, says the NBS. The first with me here is a blueprint newspaper. Tinobu's 30 day confab excites youth council, Indigo, APC, others. Conference milestone on youth engagement, NYCN. President assures on local government financial autonomy, tax burden, federal government to support states, FCT with CNG buses. Show a rare defiant as low turnout Mars October the 1st protest. Kano, Kaduna, others shun demonstrations. WHO targets 2.5 million Bruno children for third polio immunization. I'm ready to swear I didn't steal as Kaduna governor, LRFI. Naira stabilizes as CBN tightens policy 
analyst warn of market volatility. Above the market, meet our demands in 14 days to preserve peace, as tells federal government. And on the bottom strip, NAPTIB, DSS, rescue 19 KB trafficked children from Calabar. Next is Daily Independent Newspaper. Tinobu draws flak over plan to convoke National Youth Confab. Youth Confab will be useless. Implement 2014 National Confab, MBF. It's designed to divert attention from bad governance, says Piers. Revisit report of past Confab. Committees forget Youth Confab, Shirley. And then police explain deployment of officers to RCEC headquarters. Rivers APC restates support for October the 5th local government election. Federal government distributes 2,000 CNG-powered tricycles to youths. My government won't surrender to barefaced blackmail. Fubara Emirates resumes operations in Nigeria two years after suspension. Protesters in Benin, Oshobo Akure, ask Tinobu to reverse harsh policies. Uh, police suspect, suspected Police suspected miscreants disperse protesters in rivers. Iran fires dozens of missiles into Israel. And then federal government insecurity igniting, uh, federal government insincerity igniting fresh round of industrial crisis. That's according to ASU. Next is the Punch newspaper. October 1st protest record, uh, record low turnout nationwide. Kaduna, Plateau, Nasarawa, others, Sean Raleigh. Heavy police presence in Oshun, Niger. Police arrest 10 in Kano, Port Harcourt, as Nans backs President's Youth Confab. Tinubu, governors preach patriotism at 64th Independence Day parades. Federal government extends rise subsidy programs to states. Five suspects arrested for allegedly killing Ogun fisherman. Iran launches 180 missiles to Israel. Federal government plans Nigerians' evacuation. Above the nameplate, flooding worsens despite 180 billion naira spent on dams. But Harcourt Refinery misses seventh production rollout deadline. Dauda Lawal's allegations against Matawale self serving. That's according to analysts and on the ear of the newspaper. Petrol imports dropped by 3.85 uh, billion naira. 3.58 billion liters after subsidy removal. That's according to the federal government. Next is Daily News Hub. Fearless in uh, hashtag fearless in October. Panic in Abuja as police protesters clash. Security operatives fire tear gas at protesters. Thugs invade protest ground in rivers. We can't be intimidated. Things can't continue this way. Protesters. We never attacked protesters. We only acted. To prevent looting, that's according to police. And then, federal government has cleared 30 trillion naira CBN ways mains loan. Uh, Tinobu, independence Nigeria must reform or risk collapse. Tinobu warns, says we are winning war against terrorism. Independence Day, Aida Tiwa grants amnesty to 117 convicts. And on the bottom street, Kano, police arrest five activists ahead of protest. Nigeria needs independence from state capture, that's according to Obi. Next is Nigeria News Direct. Protests rock Lagos, Oshun, Oyo, others as Nigeria demand as Nigerians demand relief from hunger, uh, hardship. Tinubu promises relief amid economic hardship, calls for patience. Access gets regulatory approval for ARM pension merger. A Frexen Bank to invest $200 million in Nigeria's creative industry. Above the masthead, excitement as Makinde extends subsidized transport scheme by six months. Federal government commences distribution of 2,000 CNG powered tricycles to tackle unemployment. Tinubu confers national honors on Senate President, Speaker, CJN, others. Troops arrest Boko Haram suspects kid kidnapping informants in Taraba. Next is Leadership Newspaper. Hashtag Fearless in October. Protest poor in states. Protesters converge on Lagos, Abuja amid tight security. Youth shun action in North. Hold Solidarity March. 
we took proactive measures against looters. That's according to police. Mixed reactions trail Tinobu's independence broadcast. Uncertainty over Naira for crude policy as federal government fails to release guidelines. I didn't steal Kaduna money. I will swear with Quran. Erufai. PDP is not one man's enterprise. That's according to governors. Kebi Sokoto Niger Highway Bridge collapses. Niger, uh, several killed in Tel Aviv. Mass shooting. Police arrest man for attempted suicide. Next is this Nigeria. Insecurity. We're winning the war, says Tinobu. In other one year, over 300 Boko Haram. Bandit commanders eliminated. President reveals pleads for patience, says Nigeria is work in progress to convoke 30-day youth confab. Another year of the newspaper, let's stand together for peace, development of FCT, Wiki Independence message. Diversify Nigeria's revenue sources, LCCI tells federal government. Subsidy removal, importation of petrol drops by 3.58 billion litres, NBS. Nature News newspaper is next. Amid health concerns, South African government approves field trials of GMO wheat, sets target for commercial production. Lagos governor reiterates climate actions for net zero emissions by 2050. UN mission raises the alarm as Congo rebels rake $0.3 million monthly from seized mining area. Story beats Guagain at World Championship and the Nigeria 64. Tinubu appeals for patience as Nigerians held rallies in Abuja, Lagos. Next is Business Times. Nigeria must further diversify its revenue sources, LCCI. Says developing sectors mm -hmm. like solid minerals, gas and agriculture will reduce mm -hmm. dependence on oil revenues. Perhaps on need to address weak purchasing power of consumers. Nigeria attracted over $30 billion in FDI in 2023. As according to President Tinobu says, federal government cleared ways and means debt of over 30 trillion naira. Next, last but not least, is the nation sporting life. Victor Simen insists I'm worth over 100 million euros. Havarids, Saka, strike to uh, to earn Guy, uh, Gunners' win. Haaland nets for the second Champions League goal. Palmer's four goal. Chelsea's shirt could break CR7 auction record. Ronaldo hints at retirement, says it doesn't have much time left on the pitch. We are very happy to play at home. That's Emery, South African goalkeeper, inspires me. Wabali. Simon set to uh, equal Salah's historic re uh, record for FC Nantes. Ateta helped Okocha flourish at PSG. That's about it for the newspapers this morning. All right, so many headlines there, screaming about this, uh, but then you could say, um, let's narrow it down. Uh, to uh, the president's Independence Day uh, anniversary speech on Tuesday. Uh, of course, so many takeaways uh, from what President Bola Tinubu announced to Nigerians uh, just about this time yesterday. We will continue to uh, break them down uh, further. We'll take a break now. When we return, we'll look at President Tinubu's charge to state governors to key into groundbreaking initiatives to combat hunger.